What's up guys, Bobby with Dual Anglers here. Today I'm with Adam, right there. Adam is teaching me how to snake hunt today. What is that, Adam? That's a vole nest. Uh -huh. First off, we're just gonna let Adam go ahead and do the do the job. Oh wow! Look at this. So he can show us what's going on. What's going on over here? These are on these logs. Oh. Crazy mushrooms. There's a big oh, one. Oh wow! What do you think those are? They look like oyster mushrooms. Mm -hmm. There's a big fresh one on the bottom. Oh wow! There is. Look at that. It's tripping. First find of the day. Little micro wood frog. It's out a little bit early for the night. Pretty sure that's a little female, actually. Not quite too sure. Actually, it may be a male. How do you tell the difference? I'm pretty sure. Come here, big guy. I'm pretty sure with females usually have the brighter colors, and mm -hmm. males are usually the uglier ones. Okay. I'm not too sure. Don't quote me on that. I do whenever I flip stuff over, like always. Put it back. All right, guys, here's our second find of the day, our first snake. Adam thinks this is a male garter snake. He knows it's a garter snake, but he thinks it's a male. Common red-sided gal or California garter snake. Pretty sure it's a little male. The best way to tell with males and garter snakes is by the really long tail after the, the cloaca. Females will usually have a really short tail, about to like right here. Mm -hmm. But you see how long his is? Oh, yeah. He is a beautiful snake. You can Very see beautiful. all those yellows. There's a little bit of red on the side. And... He's calmed down real nice. Super awesome. He got away from Adam pretty quick, but... Yeah, he was trying. But Adam's been doing this a long time. He's got some quick hands. <sighs> look, at, look, all the cows are just sitting there watching us. Hi, guys. <laughs> oh, look at that. There's another wood pile, but I don't want to get that close. Yeah. Look at that. That's nice. That is awesome. So when you pick these up, what's the best way to pick up a baby snake, let's say? Baby snakes, um, there's not too many ways you can hurt them. As long as you aren't trying to, you know, grab them by the head like most people would. Mm -hmm. Never do that. Never, ever. Unless it's a venomous reptile, but don't ever do that even if you have training. Um, with these, the best way, as long as they're out in the open, you could pick them up, but I wouldn't recommend it. Obviously, if you don't know what you're doing, if you don't know your local snake species. But there's no really wrong way to catch garter snakes and gopher snakes and stuff like that. As long as you aren't grabbing necks to break, you'll break their neck or severely injure it. You don't want to do that. This camera work is terrible. <laughs> <laughs> I need to back up. But go ahead, keep, right. keep talking or doing what you need to do. Right. We're good for now. All right, so there's the first snake find of the day. And it's my favorite species. His He's favorite. already musking me, it smells terrible. <laughs> How old do you think he is, if you this had a guy, guess? This a yearling. A yearling? Yeah, this is a yearling, okay. definitely. If not a loop. Yeah, this is definitely a yearling. Mm -hmm. He looks like he's just from last year's hatch. That's awesome. Because male is full maxed out. I think they're about three and a half foot long. Yeah, he's a pretty healthy feller, but you notice how all these frogs are around? That's yeah. That's what he's looking for. Yeah, and I don't know if the camera picked it up, but we were looking through there and Adam found another frog and a uh, he goes, you know what's great when these frogs are out? And I did it. I asked him what, and he said, garter snakes. Garter snakes are always around. And he was right. He found one at least like what thirty seconds yeah. later after he said that. It's completely awesome. Yeah, these are my favorite species, so the camera knows. Come on, give him a little pet here. You want to hold him? Yeah, yeah, sure. Just, how do I do this? Just uh, there's no wrong way to do it. Just be gentle and try to keep all of his body weight held. You never really want to leave a dangle, you know? Uh -huh. You see how I kept keeping up with them? Yeah. yeah. This is so cool. Is, that, is this your first time holding a garter? A uh, garter? Yeah. I've held... What have I held? I've held a mountain king snake, and I held one other snake way back in the day. I was in like fourth grade. I don't remember what it was. But they're all catching snakes when I held them. Yeah. 
These guys, are, they are usually out here a dime a dozen. Is the way he's hanging like okay? Right? Yeah, that's fine. Oh, okay. As long as you're supporting more than three quarters of body weight. Oh, awesome. All right, should we let him go? Yeah. Um, let's bring him over here, and then we'll we'll just leave this alone now that we found something out of it. Okay. Watch your hands as you put them in, though. Okay. Because I haven't really checked this. Where should yet. I put him? Just down. Yeah, just, just right there. Set him down. Yep. All right. Later, bub. There we go, little guy. Water sinks, they like more vegetation. Mm -hmm. They like it when it's a wetter habitat. They're usually more found by creeks and stuff, but when they're not by the creeks, they try to look for more marshy areas or places with less dry brush. Even though you can find them out there, it's not uncommon. That's a snake hole. No, that's a tarantula hole. Oh, wow. Yep. That right there is a tarantula hole. Now I know by experience by sticking my finger into those. This is a gopher snake with a morph. With that's a morph. Buckle variation. Right, well, you see how that's a pinstripe? Yes. Well, garter snakes, they usually don't have this, this longer overall scale. Yeah. They're usually sharper. That's how I'm figuring this is a gopher snake. Could be wrong. That's weird. Hmm. I've never seen the variations out here. I've only seen the dark ones. So after the video has been gone for like 10 minutes already, probably, uh, I just want to apologize for the crappy filming. I'm just, I've never done this before. I'm super excited. So I'm not, I'm, I'm more worried about finding the snake and watching how Adam does things than I am about filming. So it's not gonna be the best video today, um, filming wise. So Adam was just telling me right here, it looks like there'd be rattlesnakes more than anything. Um, if you notice right here is a lot more dry than it was down there. I mean, I'm sure, you, yeah, there you a go. A whip tail? Yeah. What is a whip tail? A whip tail is a very, very slender, fast lizard. Uh -huh. Very fast. Oh, Adam, hear something. Whatever that was, that, that had to have been a snake. <laughs> yep. What kind? Garter snake. Garter? No. Now, if you guys are wondering why I'm kind of just standing around, letting Adam do all the work, because like I said, I've never done this before. He's done this all his life. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and let him do the work. If he needs my help, of course, I'll help him. Watch that side. Yeah, definitely. Gotcha. Oh, Woo! whoa. That is a good one, dude. He's about two feet. Two feet long? Yeah. Maybe a, an inch or, inch or more or less. And you said uh, male gopher snakes get up to three feet? Garter snakes. Maybe. Garter, sorry. Yeah. Garter. yeah. Garter snakes, male garter snakes, max out about three and a half foot. Okay. I've never seen one bigger than three and a half foot. Hold it up a little bit more. There, it is good. That's awesome, man. Females of this species can max out about five feet. Oh, wow. That's why I'm looking for a... This is a really nice pair to put with a female if I find one tonight, wow. though. Because that's good genes. That's a big gene. Yeah. Um, Most males... You know that last one we caught? Yeah. That's a breeding size male. Really? Yeah. So they're like wow. bass. They're bass. They're, they're like, kind of like. Large they're like mouth. how largemouth bass out there. They're sexually mature to. There's so many flies all over. Yeah, yeah, they're all. Over it's there. because of the musk. Okay, so they're sexually mature by like age one. Yeah, or even, even before maybe, that, like yeah. six to six months to a year. Oh wow, that's awesome. Females, on the other hand, I think they're sexually mature at like two to three years. Yeah. All right, give me the sack. So we got a professional snake hunting sack here. It's a pillowcase. The best choice. There you go, Bob. We just came up on this mattress. Uh, Adam says mattresses are like the holy grail of finding snakes on this road. Or mouse poop, one or the other. Mice. Oh, mice. Oh, more mice. More adult mice. Adult mice. Oh, look at him. Let him go. 
Hi guys. You guys are cuties. That's my foot, just so you know. That's my foot. <laughs> Adam's making friends out here. Yeah, that's how you know there ain't no snakes over here because they're not eating. Essentially what we're doing guys is we're just kind of slowly driving down the road looking in the ditches and all that. Um, sometimes we'll speed up if we don't feel like a place is going to have anything good. And then we'll see trash like we are up coming up right here. Uh, yeah, right there. We pull over, we flip it all over, see what we can find. So... Put them over here so the cars don't worry about it. We didn't find any snakes there, but we did find this huge toad. Yep, yep, never yep. And then Adam found this rattlesnake skin That's too. That's a Northern Pacific rattlesnake skin. Now what's the uh, scientific name for that? Um, Crotalus organus organus. Oh, oh there's one. Rattlesnake? Yep. There's a rattlesnake, guys. All the way around. I'm not going to touch it. That's a Northern Pacific rattlesnake. Cartalis organus organus. No. God, that's so sick. That's a young one. That's about a year old. Yeah, those. Um, now, can you say if this is a myth or not? The young ones are more venomous? They are not more venomous. They just can't control their venom as much. But either way, an adult is still much, much more dangerous. No, don't worry, buddy. I'm going to leave you alone. That is so cool. That is a young Northern Pacific rattlesnake. I want to hear him rattle. <laughs> but He's freshly shed. No, don't go over there. Yeah, we want to look over there, dude. All right, maybe just leave him alone now. And we'll... Oh, there he goes. He's rattling now. No, no. Go for... explain it best you can. It's the largest family of snakes in the world. Uh huh. There's... I think 600 or around 600 species of venomous snakes. There's a lapids, which are king cobras and coral snakes. And then there's crotalis, which is rattlesnakes and most other vipers, pit vipers. And then there's colubrids or colubrids. That's the widest family of snake all around the world. That That's corn snakes, gopher snakes, bull snakes, garter snakes, king snakes, everything. Water snakes. Those are all part of the colubrid family. It's the largest family out there. And... For the most part, ours is king snakes, gopher snakes, garter snakes, and the racers. I don't know about the night snakes. If we see one of those tonight, we'll be really lucky. Mm. Those are micro snakes. They get about this big. Oh, wow. Yeah. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. Um, if you want to see more herbine videos, go ahead and let me know in the comments or on Instagram at Dwanglers. Um, I had a really good time catching those snakes yesterday. It was so awesome. Thank you, Adam, for finally taking me out after eight years of knowing you. <laughs> but uh, Adam kept the snake. He does a really good job keeping wild animals. I don't know how he does it, but he does it. Um, so, yeah, I'll give you guys some updates on that throughout the next couple of weeks and all. But like I said, thank you for watching. Thank you, Adam. And we'll see you next time.